Hello there, this is Uncle from TacticalGamer.com. I'm going to do a quick tutorial based off of a request off the YouTube channel on how to do a teleport based off of a zone. So I'm going to create a new mission on Stratus, uh, plop down a player, give him an AI, he'll be automatically grouped. There we go. I'm going to create a zone in here that the player, once you enter into this zone, is going to be teleported back out to this roadway. So, first of all, I need to give my mission a description so that I can select it from my editor list. I'm going to save it with the same name. There we go. Now, I want to place a few objects that I'm going to use. First of all, I'm going to create an object, small, and use a small little pencil. And I'm going to call this No Man Pencil. All right. I'm going to copy it, paste it, Control C, Control V. I'm going to call this pencil. Um, Actually, I'm going to do this a different way. Uh, create another object. Empty. This one's going to be an object sign. And I'm going to use a helipad. Now, I could use an invisible one so that you wouldn't see it on the ground. But just for this purpose, I'm just going to put the visible one here. I'm going to call it teleport2. So we'll be able to see it right on the ground, right in front of us when we come in. Okay. So let's see if I want to check out how big I need to create a zone around here that I'm not going to use. I'll just create an empty trigger. And maybe this is going to be 15 meters by 15 meters and an ellipse. And I'm only placing this to see how big I want the zone to be. A little smaller. Let's say 12. All right, so I could, okay, trigger of 12, all right. <clears throat> so I'm just remembering the distance of 12 from now on. All right, let's jump over to uh, our script here. We have pretty much the elements we need. Uh, if I place a marker at this point, I could do something like that. Uh, no man zone. Um, actually, it's going to be an ellipse, and I know it's going to be 12 by 12. Let's give it a border and give it a red. All right, so I've got a no man zone. I'm defining 12 meters away from here. It gives me a chance to put this pencil right in the middle, because what I'm going to do is check the distance between any player and um, this pencil. Once it gets, once the distance is less than 12, I'm going to move that player out to here. Okay, so let's check out our script. Okay, you can see in my file browser here that uh, teleport zone stratus folder was created in my documents under my profile for Armor 3. Double click it and the S mission SQM is, is up. I'm going to right click and create a new text document and call it teleport Teleport zone.sqf, create that, can change the extension, and start to edit it in Notepad. Now, what this script is going to do is start to run and all the while keep checking to see how far away the player is from this um, pencil I, I created on the map. And if it's less than 12 meters, teleport him. So, Let's say uh, I'm going to go run equals true. And while run do, and it's going to do everything in between these curly brackets. Okay, so 
what I want to do is just do the checking for the distance here and do the actual teleporting. So the check will be if player distance to distance to what did I call that? No man pencil. No man pencil is less than 12 meters, then do the code in those curly brackets. So now it's going to go, so if that's true, then I want to go player set pause get pause teleport to which was the uh, helipad I had placed on the map just clean that up now I'm going to add in a line in here just to, so this loop doesn't run like every frame that the processor can. So I'm going to give it a little sleep uh, for one second. So it's going to check it and then wait for one second, then check again, not check as often as it can, so which would uh, maybe bog down the mission a little bit. This gives me a little bit of, uh, of a buffer there. All right. It's only important, it wouldn't make any difference on a small little test mission like this, but you have a bunch of scripts doing loops like that, then you're going to start noticing a, the performance uh, going down. Okay, I'm not sure if the editor was recording, so I've just jumped back into my editor now. I've finished working with the script. I just want to make sure I've got everything I need to make that script work. I've got the destination, which is here, the teleport to. I've got the zone and I've created a marker so it's very easy for the players to know when they're going to enter that zone that they're not allowed to go into. Um, and now I actually need something that's going to start my teleport zone.sqf script. So I'm going to place a trigger. I'm going to use the radio triggers for this just because I haven't used them in any other tutorial yet. Activation would be a radio alpha. Uh, text would be initiate teleporter and on activation I'm going to say um, let's say and that should start the script. There, exec, exec VM. Okay, that should work. Save it. Let's give a little preview. Okay, on my map, I've got my marker once I enter that zone, and this is gonna be the helo, helo pad that I'm gonna teleport back to. And because I've used in the script player, this will only run on each client where there's a player. Because as you can see, if I move Two, my AI move into the right. zone, on the way. it won't do a thing. But it's Wait. not going to do a thing for me yet either. Because I haven't initialized or called that script yet anywhere. So let's move the AI Two, back out here. Back. On the way. And if I use my zero and zero again for radio, you can see I now have the option for one, initiate teleporter. So now my teleport script should be working. So even if I move Two. my guy into move the up. zone, the again, way. because he's not a player, shouldn't do anything to him. If you want to have a, your AI that might be fighting Ready. along with you, or any other AI move, you're going to have to do it a different way. Because once I move into the zone, I am automatically teleported over to here. Okay, now how, if I wanted to stop this at some point, I would add another option for that, let's say, which could be any condition at all. Let's 
say if I wanted to just do another radio trigger so I can just put select it so it's highlighted press control C move my cursor over here control V and stop teleporter and in this case I might use a variable um, Just to be clean about it, I might create another little trigger over here with a zone of maybe only one meter by one meter. Um, activated when blue four is or op four is not present, and then and then I would say um, That trigger will fire as soon as the mission starts and define the variable stop teleporter to be no. And let's see what I'm going to do in my script in order to make this work. All right, so here in my script, I'm going to create a new condition. if uh, stop teleport is it port or porter stop teleporter then run equals false. So this just allows me to dynamically stop my teleporter. So once I, you get the radio um, Bravo, which has now set to be the stop teleporter, it create, tells the stop teleporter variable to be no then publicly broadcast it to all the other servers or clients in the server uh, that are connected. Uh, then anybody that's running this script, it will check, see the top, stop teleporter equals now yes, and then it's going to say run equals false. So it's going to continue this loop, and then the next time it's going to come up, and it's not going to run because run is no longer true. Because a while uh, do loop only runs while this condition is true, I just created a variable and called it true, so or named it, or set it to be true. So then, yeah, once it's set to false, it won't be true, boom, done. And it'll stop running this loop. Anyway, just as a demonstration of how to do that. Radio Bravo. You can't have more than one radio alpha, obviously. So now my stop teleporter will work. And I deleted my AI unit since I don't need it. Because I copy and pasted that first trigger, the radio alpha trigger, I forgot to change it to a radio Bravo. So again, now I should have two options under radio. One, I'm going to initiate the teleporter. Closer than 12 meters, I'm automatically moved out, which will repeat and repeat and repeat until I go to Radio Bravo, stop teleporter. Now it should stop working because I've set run to be false in my script, which will no longer run it. So that's how you can stop and start the teleporting. 
This is Uncle from TacticalGamer.com and I hope you enjoy this series and the next one will be how to do a mobile uh, respawn point um, based off of vehicle.